If you like what you see, why don't you think about subscribing? And make sure to check out my channel for videos just like this. All right, what's up, people? So it's your boy, Mr. Bucket List here. It has been a while since I've been to this park, and like usual, it's pretty dead. Um, but I'm currently at SeaWorld Orlando. So what I'm going to do is go to the Sharks Underwater Grill, eat there for the first time. I've never even been inside. I always walk past it. So I'm finally going inside and finally eating there. It's during um, Magical Dining Month, which basically means you get to go here and pay a certain fee and get a three-course dinner. So pretty excited. Actually, I just finished eating, but I'm still pretty excited. All right, so some further details. So the way it works is you pretty much make a reservation online. The earliest the reservations go is around 3 to 3.15. And then basically once you're done eating, you have the rest of the time to spend in the park. So for me, for example, I was done eating around 3.45, 4 o'clock. So I had about two hours left over in the park. So this is a really good deal for people that's not a pass holder who's never been there before. For me, I've been there plenty of times, so it's just not a pass holder anymore, so it definitely felt good to be back. Now, moving on to the restaurant itself. So it is connected directly to the aquarium that they have at SeaWorld, the Shark Aquarium. And so, I mean, when you literally walk through the front doors, that's the first main thing you see is just the sharks swimming around, and it's just it's beautiful. It's a really good sight to see. Um, now, it's really cool because if you go to SeaWorld and you don't go to the restaurant, then you get to actually see the other side of the restaurant. So it's like a little tunnel you go through, and it's like a walk-through tunnel has all the sharks and stuff over your head. And you can always see the restaurant in the tunnel, but you really can't get a good view of it. Of it. So it's kind of cool to see it from the other side. And then actually moving to the actual meal itself, um, the food was good. So the first thing I got was I got the lobster bisque, which was really good, really fresh. And then I got a Mako themed drink. Um, now this was not included in the menu, this is something separate I got. Um, but either way, the cup itself, the drink, really good. And then for the entree, I ended up getting this salmon with some rice, I believe it was teriyaki salmon. That was really good as well. A really nice flavor, really good texture, cooked really well. Not bad at all. And then I end up getting a dessert as well. Um, now all this is included in the prefix menu. So if you do it during the Magical Dining Month, um, like I said, it's gonna be a prefix menu where you have to pick and choose basically one of each. If you don't wanna do that, then you'll just have to pay regular prices. But either way, I mean, this restaurant has really good food, so you should not be disappointed. So before I go any further, I'll just go ahead and put it out there. For my rating, this is definitely a must do. If you wanna to go to SeaWorld for the first time, if you wanna come here for the first time, the restaurant itself, if you just wanna get a cheap meal, but a really high quality meal, do it during Magical Dining Month. Um, now I will tell you all, when I first initially tried to do this, it got booked up immediately, so I couldn't do it. And then I guess they opened up reservations. I'm not really sure what happened, but when I went back in there and tried to do it again for one of my friends, I was like, oh, look, they got the whole month open again. So I don't know what happened there, if they just, the website had crashed or what, but it does go by pretty fast. Like I said, this is during Magical Dining Month, so it's basically between, if I'm not mistaken, it's from August to sometime in October. Um, you can come here at any time, but you're not gonna get the free admission, free park and stuff like that unless it's during Magical Dining Month. So just kind of keep that in mind. And like I said, if you do do it during Magical Dining Month, you get to do this right afterwards. You get to ride the rides and have a good time. So again, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Like I said, the restaurant itself is beautiful. The food's really good. It's a great deal if you're doing it during Magical Dining Month. You can't really ask for much more. I'll see you soon. It's your boy, Mr. Bucklist. Peace out. Thanks for watching the video. If you like what you saw, please check out my channel for more videos just like this. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Until then, I'll see you next time. Peace.